Susan Davis and Elizabeth Perry were 19-year-old friends from Monticello College in Illinois. Um, on May 27, 1969, they traveled from the college to Ocean City, New Jersey, a very popular beach town. Um, they rented an apartment uh, at a boarding house owned by Walter and Marie Sybin. Uh, they stayed there for a couple of days, and on May 30th, which was on Memorial Day that year, they left the boarding house and drove across the bridge uh, to the Summers Point Diner. Um, they were last seen eating at the diner at about 6 or 6.15 a.m. Um, from then they got in their car, presumably, as no one had seen them leave the diner, um, drove around the Summers Point traffic circle, and of course their car was found two miles north of the traffic circle, parked along the shoulder of the northbound lanes of the Garden State Parkway, between mile posts 31.8 and 31.9. Louis Sturr, uh, a trooper with the New Jersey State Police, uh, actually drove by the car one time and didn't do anything about it. Um, the second time he drove around, he reported it as being abandoned. Nothing in there indicated that any foul play had ensued. And of course, they did not find out until three days later that the girls had both been murdered by that time and were found about 200 feet in from that part of the parkway.